about half of you have not done this. So we should visit this. All right. So I'm going to end this poll. Most of you have answered this. So let's just look at um, the assignment real quick, okay? So here is the assignment. The assignment was ask your parents what interest rate they get on their savings account. So people who have done it, uh, any idea what some of the savings account interest rate is? No worries if it's your first session, you can always uh, hear the last recorded sessions, okay? This was for Harshil, oh sorry, for Hamsa. Arnav says 3%, 3.25%, is that a percentage Arnav? So let me do this. Arnav is saying 3.25, oh wow. So let me tell you the accounts I know. The highest I know, the account is from, uh, I believe American Express savings account gets you like a 1.7%, okay? That's the highest I know. If you know a bank account that gives you 3.25% on savings in America, okay? In other countries, it's possible. But in America, that is really high. So I would love to know what bank account that is. Okay, so for kids who don't know what percent is, okay? 1.7% means that if you keep $100 with the bank in your savings account, at the end of one year, you get $1.70. That, that is what 1.7% means. Percent means how much you get for every 100, that 100 of anything. So if you put $100, you get $1.7 back after one year, additional, okay? Okay, I don't know, 1.25, that makes sense, okay? So the maximum I know is 1.7%. Uh, it's an American Express account. On checkings account, for those who asked your parents, um, do you know uh, what rate you get on checkings account typically in America? And checkings account is where you're not saving. Your money is used for whatever you want to buy. It's a revolving kind of, you put in money, you use money. So how much how much does the bank give you if you have a checkings account? Again, it changes, but you know, do you remember we said last class that checkings account doesn't get as much interest as the savings account, it gets lesser. Yeah, so like 0 0.05 or 0 0.2, those seem fine. The maximum, the maximum I could find was a 1% 1 um, 1 interest rate. That was the highest that I could find, okay? Uh, and again, 1% means that if you have $100 in your checking all through for one year, then the bank will give you $1 more at the end of the year. So you'll have $101, okay? So that's what 1% means. Now this part, uh, did you manage to ask your parents what late fees and interest rates they have to pay if they're late on their credit card? Now this is crazy, okay? So if you're ever late on your credit card, do you know how much you end up paying? in interest rate to the to the credit card company it's really high anybody from those who actually did the assignment yeah 24% 25% i mean it can get really high it depends on the card but it can go anywhere from like 10% to even 30, 35%, okay? It can be really high. That means that if you don't pay back on time, that company can charge you, for every $100 you spend, they can charge you $35 more. So now you owe them $135, okay? So that's a lot of money. So you always try to avoid paying late on any credit card. One is because you have to big, pay a big fee, right? This is a big fee, interest rate is really high. And then the second is because it affects your credit score. That means you get a bad grade, bad credit score if you pay late. So um, do you know how your parents avoid not paying late? I can tell you what I do. All my credit cards are set on auto pay. That means they're linked to my bank account. And yes, thank you, Neela, automatic payment, excellent. So a lot of, I'm sure a lot of your parents do this too where every time the bill comes and the statement comes, 
it automatically gets withdrawn from our bank and it pays the credit card company. So that way we make sure we are not late because if we are late, then it's really bad and we don't want to be in that mess. So that's how, so I set up auto payments and that's a very common practice that many people do to make sure they're not late on their credit card payments. Okay, it's a good thing to do when you grow up and have a credit card. By the way, I have to tell you that all of you are old enough to get a debit card potentially uh, with your parents as a co-signer. So if you're interested, you can ask your parents if you, know, if you can get a debit card, uh, have a savings account going in a bank and have a debit card. You could do that, okay? So that's something to ask your parents, all right? Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so quickly, lessons learned. Yeah, you're, most of you are like seven, eight, so anywhere from five to 10, right, is our age group in this class. Uh, all of you are eligible to get a debit card on a savings account. So you can get your parents to help you open a savings account, okay? In a bank, so you can actually have a real bank account so early on, that's exciting. Okay, so, oh, let me ask you, what are the lessons we learned last class? Shruti, what is the use of debit card? Okay, we'll let's look at the lessons learned from last class and maybe we'll figure it out. So anyone, what did we learn last class? We learned about credit card, yeah, but what about it? We learned about banks, but what about it? We learned a bunch of things. Okay, so in interest of time, I am going to start telling you what we learned. So banks make money by loaning people money, remember? So they charge them an interest rate. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Abhignan Suresh. So they charge people interest rate. That's how banks make money, by letting people borrow money for interest. And interest is the money that the bank charges when they loan people money, right? That's the fee they charge on top of it. So that's how banks make money. Now, what are the two common account types? We just said them, what are they? Yep, thank you, Sachida. So savings account and checking account, perfect. Yep, savings and checkings, right? And you remember savings gets a little bit more interest than checking. So if I were you, I would open a savings account in the beginning. So Neela has a good question. If we link our credit card with our parents, does it affect their credit score? So Neela, I don't believe that you are old enough to get an independent credit card, okay? I think you're old enough that you can have a savings account with your parents sort of monitoring it and you can have a debit, a debit card. And then somebody was asking, how, what is a debit card? So debit card lets you pay for things without having to use cash and you can use only as much as there is in your bank with the card. Yeah, thank you, Isha, that's correct. You can use the cards instead of cash. So debit card lets you buy things without using cash, okay? Uh, how much ever money you have in the bank is how much ever stuff you can buy. But credit card is a little different and you need to be a little older for that. Credit card lets you borrow money short term, right? For 30 days, you have to pay it back in 30 days to buy something today and then you can pay it when your statement comes 30 days later, but you have to pay on time else you have hefty fees and interest. And credit score, which we said was like a grade that you get is higher when you make your payments on time. So you always wanna make your payments on time. Oh, so Neela, great question. Does the interest for savings account pay you every month or every year? So it's always every year. So whenever you see these percentages, right? You should assume it's every month unless they say, uh, sorry, every year, I mean, it, you should assume it's for the year unless they say every month. So credit cards do something called APR, so they can charge you monthly fees, but whenever you get an interest from a bank on a savings account, it's always for a year or even for a checkings account, okay? Okay, so now let's start with today's big topic, guys. So we spent some time already on looking what we did last time in the uh, assignment. So today's big topic is taxes and taxes are everywhere. So what is tax? Somebody wants to tell me what is tax? Make a guess. Wow, that's okay, Bill, something you have to pay extra. That is correct, that is correct. 
Money to pay for infrastructure. Yep, money for the government. Thank you, whoever said that. Thank you. So taxes. Look, so we we have the government, right? So thank you guys. I kind of got where you're thinking about this. So tax tax is the money that the government makes. Okay. Yes. Thank you um, for all the answers. So extra money that goes to the government, and that is because the government has a lot of things that the government needs to do, right? Uh, the government maintains your uh, public schools, the buses that take you to school, the libraries, uh, you know, public parks, national parks. It maintains the roads that you drive on. It maintains uh, some of the hospitals, uh, the police policemen who help to make sure that we're all safe, all the firefighters. All these are jobs that the government has to look after and it needs money for that. So where does that money come from, right? So we as a society, and not just here in America, but almost every country on the, in the world, everybody has agreed that we are gonna pull, everybody will give a little bit of money to the government and then the government will have a big pot of money and they will use that pot of money to take care of all these common things that everybody needs, okay? So that is how tax comes in. So tax is a way that government can collect money to pay for things that people need, right? So there are different ways that the government collects money and all those are called different taxes, okay? So what are some of the examples? And we just gave all the examples. What are the things that people need, right? Schools, roads, buses, libraries, all of these are different examples. Okay, so let's watch a quick video. Um, it sort of gives an overview of how the government uh, does their taxation. Okay, so let me share. So now this video, remember guys, this video is uh, done by somebody in United Kingdom. Uh, so the tax, you know, you'll see different instead of dollar signs, you'll see pound signs and all that, but it's the same idea. Every government in all the countries has taxes. Okay. So it's the same idea. Okay. So I'm going to play. So there they call uh, uh, H&M revenue and customs here, IRS in America, IRS uh, is the government um, organization are part of the government or a department in the government that uh, oversees all the taxes, okay? So Neela, great question. We are gonna to come to it. Does the tax we pay go to the American government or the state government or the local? You are one step ahead. So give me a minute. We're gonna to come. To so let's hear this video for now. I hope you can hear it. They haven't started, wait, they haven't started some. Can you imagine life a long time ago? Before your teacher was born. Before your great, great, great grandparents were born. Much, much further back in time. To the age of woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers and cavemen. Way back then, it was every man and woman and child for themselves. You and your family would have found life very difficult, with no teachers to teach you, no doctors to care for you if you got hurt, no police officers to keep the streets safe from ravenous beasts. And come to think of it, no streets. But times moved on. Very slowly, things changed. People started to work together. They grew crops together, built villages together. Then, later still, they built towns and cities, supporting each other as communities developed with schools and hospitals, teachers and doctors, clean water to drink and proper roads. And these things all had one thing in common. They all cost money, and lots of it. And that's where taxes come in. Taxes are the money that everyone pays towards the important things that make society work. When you have a job and earn money, you pay some of that money back to the government as tax. 
and if you run a business, some of the profit the business makes is also given to the government as tax. Some of the things you buy also have tax included in the price. All this money is used to pay for the things that are important to you and your family, your local community and the country. Kings and emperors. Queens and governments. Over the centuries, they've all used taxes to bring in the money they need to keep people safe and healthy, educated and entertained. Now, we've got to admit that some of these taxes in the past were a bit... Well, there's only one word for it. Strange. The Egyptian pharaohs introduced a tax on cooking oil. 200 years ago in the UK, there was a tax on windows. Some people bricked up their windows to avoid paying the tax, and you can still see some of those houses. Is there a house like that near you? And what about the tax on hats, introduced in 1784, which if you didn't pay it, could be punishable by death? Today we have lots of different taxes, paid by lots of different people so that our government has enough money for all the different things that our society needs to work properly. Now, let's look at who pays taxes and how that money's spent. Let's start with you. Do you pay taxes? Hands up if you think that you do. Well done if you put your hand up, because some of the things you might buy, chocolate, pens and games, for example, have an amount of tax included in the price you pay. It's called value added tax, or VAT. People who work also have to give part of the money they earn to the government as tax. And businesses, shops, factories and banks all pay tax too. All these taxes are collected by us. We're called Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. And the amount we collect adds up to a huge amount of money. In fact, it's more than £500 billion each year. And if you're wondering what that number looks like, it's 500 000 000 000 000 000. You can think of tax as an absolutely enormous piggy bank that everyone pays a bit of money into to help everyone in the country. When you're older and you get a job, or maybe even start your own business, the taxes you'll pay then will all be added into this piggy bank. Now, maybe you're thinking, it's not fair that people have to pay tax. But think about all the things that would disappear if we didn't have taxes your schools and your teachers, hospitals and ambulances, doctors and nurses, libraries, museums, the people who collect our rubbish and keep our streets clean, and the police officers and firefighters who keep us safe. So, now you can see how important taxes are and how they pay for many of the essential things in our lives things that we sometimes take for granted. To keep our country safe. To provide essential services for your local community. And to make life better for your family and for you. Thanks for listening. Okay, alright. So although this was uh, for UK, is exactly the same. I mean, the government does the same stuff, whether it's UK or US or Australia or any other country. And so uh, taxes work in very similar way, okay? So let's see, let's get my screen share back to our... When you think of accounting and finance, what comes to mind? Sorry guys, hold on. Don't worry, this is not my course. I have something just a little more special planned for you. Do you want to learn about accounting and finance in a way that you've sorry, never- Sorry, this is not supposed to be starting. My YouTube is starting to play. Okay, all right.
Okay, so you see my screen now? Okay, good. Okay, so we were here. So we just did this. We saw the video. So let's look at really quickly. So the different type of taxes. So you did learn a couple of different type of taxes here, right? So what are the taxes that you learned of? Let's see. So you saw the sales tax, right? So whenever you buy, even as kids, when you buy a piece of candy or whatever, pens or chocolate or whatever, there's a portion of that price that is considered a sales tax. So that goes to the government on items you pay, okay? Yeah, so another one is property tax. Now again, property taxes uh, on property that people own. Property is, you know, if you own a house or any land or anything like that, then you have to pay whatever uh, whatever price you bought it for, you have to pay a portion uh, based on um, the price of the property, you have to pay a small portion every year to the government as property tax. Okay, then you said, somebody said job tax. Yep, so that is the same as income tax. Okay, so on the money that you earn in the job, your parents, if they are in a job, they pay income tax. Similarly, if they're in a business, if I own a business, I pay business tax. Okay, so my uh, business income uh, gets taxed and a small portion goes to the government. Um, now tariff, tariff is also a kind of tax and that's a tax that if uh, people are trading between two countries, let's say we are doing a trade between America and England, then there's some tariff tax that is uh, that you pay either to one government or both governments, okay? And then some of you might have heard about social security, okay? So social security is uh, a program that is run by the government for people to retire with a steady income and uh, all your life you sort of pay some some money towards social security so that when you retire, you get benefit from that. And so it's a social security tax to run that program. Similarly, Medicare is a kind of tax we pay the government so that when we retire, some of that money can, or most of that money can benefit us for our healthcare. So if we need to see a doctor when we are older, let's say when I'm 70 or 80, if I have paid into Medicare, then um, you know Medicare program can help me with my doctor's visits and so on. So that's why I pay a Medicare tax. Okay, so all these are common taxes that we have in, in US. And you know, different countries have slightly different taxes, but these are very common. Sales tax is very common across all countries. Property tax is common, income tax is common, and so on. Some countries have zero business tax. Even in America, some states have zero business tax. Do you know a state which has zero business tax? That means as a business, you don't have to pay taxes for the state level. Do you know a state like that? I'll tell you if you Portland, I don't know, you may be right. You may be right. I don't know. I'm not, not sure of all, but I know um, uh, Florida, for instance. Yeah, Delaware, for sure. Yeah, Florida. You don't have to pay taxes on a business that is formed in Florida or Delaware or even for that matter in Texas. Okay. New York, I'm pretty sure you have to pay a business tax, okay? Okay, and so there are many other kinds of taxes too, okay, depending on what applies to you. So that's how everybody keeps paying a little bit uh, money to the government on all the different activities that they do, all right? So now somebody, Neela, had asked me, right, um, does income tax, does it go to the local government or the state government? So now these are new uh, new words, right, for all of you, or maybe at least some of you. So there are three levels of the government in America, okay? There's a local government, there's a state government, and there is a federal government. So when we say local government, we mean the government of our town. So for instance, I live in a town called Greenwich, okay? So the Greenwich, Greenwich town has its own government, that makes sure that it runs Greenwich schools, Greenwich school buses, Greenwich libraries, and so on, okay? Now, Greenwich is in the state of Connecticut, 
So as a state, the state also makes sure that some things are taken care of at the state level. Let's say maybe there's a state level national park, or if people are not employed, then there's a state level employment benefit and so on. So uh, there are things that the state does. So there's a state government. And um, then there is the federal government, right? The federal government is the central government for all 52 states in America. So that government makes sure that there are things that are done across the country in a certain way. So for instance, America has one military, right? It has one army. It has one space program. Not every state has a space program. Not every state has a military, right? So the federal government looks after America. So make sure it pays for America's space program or America's, gov uh, America's military or its Navy and so on. So things that are shared across the states, the federal government takes care of it, okay? So now when all these different taxes uh, some of them go to the local government, some of them go to the state government, and some of them go to the federal government. Some of them go to all three governments, okay? So now let's look at some examples. So income tax. Do you think income tax goes to local government, state government, or federal government? Any takers? State, okay, federal. Okay, so actually this is a little bit of a trick question because actually when, when you earn in a job or in a salaried position, your income can be taxed at all three levels. So the local government can put a small tax on it, the state government can put a small tax on it, and the federal government can also put a small tax on it. And so income tax is actually for all three, okay? Now property tax. I own a house in Connecticut, and so we pay property taxes. Our family pays property taxes, right? So do you think the property tax goes to Greenwich, which is the local town, or it goes to uh, Connecticut as a state, or it goes to the federal government? Local, yes, correct. So property tax goes to the local government, okay? Now sales tax, let's say I buy something, and let's say I buy something in Connecticut. So where do you think the state, the sales tax goes? So the sales tax is at a state level. So New York has a sales tax, which is different than the sales tax in Connecticut, which is different than the sales tax in New Jersey. A lot of people like to go and shop in New Jersey because they don't have sales tax on certain kinds of items. So if you buy, for instance, clothes or shoes in certain places in New Jersey, you don't pay any sales tax because they have a 0% sales tax. And so people like to shop there. Okay, so that is at a state level. Now, Social Security, ooh, I gave away the answer, but okay, Social Security is a program that's run at, at the federal level, so it's across all the states, so that tax goes to the federal government. Okay, Medicare is also a health program, and it's run across all states, so that tax also goes to the federal government, okay? Good. So now, um, we are going to have a quick pop quiz to see what you guys learned about taxes. Okay, so I'm gonna launch pop quiz. It's a long, I'm gonna give you time, go through it. Now remember, there are gonna be five questions and there's more than one correct answer, okay? So each question can have multiple correct answers. So here, I just started the quiz, you can start taking it.
Okay, some of you are getting done. Yeah, Arna, Raghav, Avani, Saj, Arne. Many of you are getting done. I'm gonna give a little bit more time so more people can an answer it. It's a little long, right? It's five questions. Good, Anika done, Hansa good, done, Alison done, Ishan done. Good, good, good. Mika done, Shankar done, good. Rama done, okay, Harshil is done. Mihir done. Okay, I'm going to start going over the answers now. So if you're still taking the quiz, you can continue taking it. I think very few people are left now, but I'm gonna start going over the answers, okay? Uh, no, you're not allowed to skip the poll, okay? You have to take it. <laughs> okay, all right. And what's not to, I mean, we just learned this, so you will know this anyway, it's very easy. So how does the government make money? Okay, we said uh, government makes money by taxing, right? So what kind of taxes? Charge people tax on money earned in a job and a business? Yes, right? It's called income tax or business tax. So yes, government absolutely does that tax. Charge tax on number of pets you keep? No, there's no tax on that. Not in this day and age. Maybe in the past, some people may have done it, but <laughs> there's no tax on pets right now. Charge tax on number of kids people have? No, the government does not do it. We're talking about today, okay? This might have happened sometime in history when there were some strange taxes like on windows or whatever. But right now there's no such taxes. And uh, does the government charge people tax on things they buy? Yes, absolutely, it's called sales tax. So the correct answer is one and four, okay? For question one. So most of you got that right. Now the second question, why does the government need money? We spoke about it, right? Does it need money to repair people's car? No, I don't think so, that's not right. Okay, the government does not repair people's car. People's car is their own responsibility. So you have to repair your own car with your own money. But the government does repair and maintain roads. Yeah, it does run schools and libraries and it does support museums. So all the three, so second, third and fourth, those three are correct. The first uh, option is incorrect, okay? So that's question two. Now question three, what are the different type of taxes? So yes, first answer is absolutely right. Sales tax is a tax. Tree tax is not a tax that we know of, okay? Property tax is a tax, so most of you got that right. There is no daylight tax and income tax is a tax, okay? So those are the right answers. Fourth question, when do people file their taxes every year? And, and oh my God, I am so sorry. I didn't even tell you this. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't tell you when people file their taxes, but you know what? A lot of you still guessed it right. So most people will file their, or at least every year, people are expected to file their personal taxes by April 15th, okay? So that's when you will see your parents getting all their, statements and receipts and all that together file tax here actually uh, because of the coronavirus situation the government has made a one-time exception and this year people can file until july 15 okay but all but every year every year people file by april 15 okay now income tax question five income tax is owed owed to which branch of government and we discussed this right it's owed both to local, state, not both, to local, state, and federal, so all three. So the correct answer is the last one, all of the, all of the above, okay? All right, so most of you took the poll and most of you got it right, so good job, I'm very impressed. All right, so with that, this class is almost done, except you need to know what your assignment is, okay? So it's pretty simple. You gotta to talk to your parents and ask them what their income tax rate is. What you will realize is that every person's income tax rate is slightly different, but I want you to find it out. Like there are brackets. So depending on how much money people make, they fall in different brackets. And meaning like uh, the more money a person makes, the more income tax they pay, okay? So find out how much income tax rate is uh, do your parents uh, come under. Uh, then find out for your state, what is the sales tax? So for instance, I can tell you, New Jersey has a 0% sales tax on many things. So find out what is the sales tax in your state, okay? Also find out what is the property tax for your town. So if you um, 
whichever town you live in, it will have a standard property tax. So ask your parents, okay? Or maybe you can search for it on Google. What is the property tax for your town? And then also find out from your parents what is the social security and Medicare tax rate. So you're supposed to find out a bunch of tax rates, all right? So do not forget the assignment. Let's do it for next class. And I'm gonna ask you what you found out, okay? In next class. Sounds good? There is no game. I'm sorry, kids. Next time, I'm gonna to try to find a game, but it's not easy to find a game on taxes. I didn't find any. If you can find one, let me know, okay? All right, thank you. If you have any questions, let me know on email. Otherwise, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Arnav. I'm glad you enjoyed the class. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.